Are you uh, satisfied with your character's ending? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think I think everyone on on in in season eight has been pretty pretty happy with the way it's gone. Um, I think it's such a difficult thing to wrap up Game of Thrones because there are so many different characters and so many different things going on, um, and so you're never going to please everybody in terms of you know the viewers. Um, but I think I think we've managed to wrap it up in a way that's you know pretty clever and bittersweet. And what was your first thought when you read the script of the last season? Oh, I, I, there were so many emotions I went through as I went through each episode. It just kept getting like more and more. What? I remember at one point I did actually have to physically get up and walk around the room a little bit and just go, what? Um, there were some seriously big moments. Um, I guess that all of you had your theories, but which member of the cast was more accurate about the ending? Oh, do you know what? I think it, I genuinely think there wasn't anyone who got everything, it, who predicted everything. Um, I think we've all like got bits and pieces that we were like, right, yeah, and saw that coming. But nobody, I, I, I think nobody foresaw exactly how it would how it would pan out. And for you, uh, which was the most surprising plot twist during these past seven seasons? Oh, plot twists. I mean, there's so many to pick from. In terms of shocking moments, I really remember seeing Prince Oberon getting his eyes poked through. I mean, I really didn't think that was coming. I thought it was like, yeah, the underdog's going to win for once. And then, yeah, that was uh, brutal. And was there any moment between seasons that you thought, that's it, I'm dying next season? Definitely. I, I remember when between, in season five, I took a break for the year. Um, and so I got this call in the morning um, before I went to school. Uh, saying from my agent saying David and Dan want to talk to you later. And I thought that's it. I'm dead. I'm going to be killed. Um, so then when when they called me later and just said you're just going to take a season off, I was like that's fine. That's fine. Just don't kill me. And uh, how was for you because Bran is so different in seventh season. He's kind of bitter, mm. but he started just being a careless boy. So how how it was for you that that journey? I really really enjoyed that. I thought it was um, I thought it was really cool. Not many people get to suddenly play a completely different character um, in the same show. Um, and, uh, and I thought it was fascinating the way, the, the kind of character Bran is. I know people didn't respond to him hugely well, but I, I, I thought it was, it, it was just really cool to get to sort of be this all-knowing, all-seeing, very wise sage. Um, and I, and it, a great Game of Thrones move, as always, you know, having that stark reunion, but... The Starks are all different now. They're all, you know, new people. And HBO is working in several spin-offs of Game of Thrones. So what would you like to see? One set in the past, in the future, about the long night? Or... I mean, there are so many, there's so much to draw on from the past. Um, I mean, George has pretty much written, I mean, he actually has literally written history books for, for Game of Thrones. Um, so I think something from the past, there'd be loads of great things to, to delve into there. And besides your character, which character do you think that has the most shocking ending? What, in season eight? Yeah. Well, I can't tell you. Yeah. <laughs> it's clever. <laughs> Sly move. <laughs> and which was the best moment in these um, eight seasons while you were shooting with your oh, Do you know what? I think, I have to say, the camaraderie of season eight, I think, was really nice because it was all... The cast has kind of been whittled down more and more, so there's uh, still a large group, but a fairly sort of um, key main unit of us. Um, and I think this season, because everyone's kind of closer together and lots of stuff is in Belfast, um, we were all really close and we all had a lot of fun this year. Um, and I think I got to know people much better this year than I had before, which was really nice.